So from an early age, I think I was very much, you know, interested in hacking the education system. In high school, you know, when the teacher said, you know, it's time to memorize Shakespeare, I was like, that's ridiculous. In, you know, the 20th century, which it still was at that point, why are we memorizing Shakespeare? And so I would have a counter proposal always. You know, I want to write a play. I don't want to memorize somebody else's play. And I remember in grade 11 and 12, that's exactly what I did. I wrote a play for a month and handed it in for the same, uh, for the same work. Why did you think you didn't go along with what teachers told you, what schools expected of you? Like, why cause trouble like this? <laughs> uh, why cause trouble? Because it's fun. But also, you know, the, the school system we have now, whether it's primary school, high school, or even, you know, most of the university system, really has been cast from the industrial age. So you know, as somebody who was very media savvy, who was a punk rock kid, you know, I wasn't going to work in a factory. I wasn't going to be just sort of following the same path every day. I wanted to discover. And the school system wasn't letting me do that. So I always pushed back. I always tried to hack it because I thought what I need to figure out to do for my career, for my life, is how to solve problems, how to have fun, how to create. Uh, and the school system wasn't giving me that. So, you know, what is education for? I think for me, it really is about being able to carve your own path, to be able to discover, but also be able to get the skills you need to succeed. And a part of that is learning very concrete skills. I want to make a video. I want to be able to do math. A part of that is being able to kind of discover yourself. Hey, I'm Tristan. A big part of what I want education to be for when I look at my kids, but also when I look around, is the idea that that learning and discovery happens in all aspects of life and throughout you know, your whole life. So having said all that, like, how do badges fit in? Like, what is the role of badges and why create them? So digital badges are about being able to really collect credentials about what I know from across society, across different contexts, bring them together into something like a diploma that when it all adds up says, this is who I am, this is what I know, you can trust it. I, who's giving out the badge, um, could be somebody who did a workshop with you, could be a traditional teacher, could be a peer who's actually worked with you and has seen your, you know, your good work. And it's signed by me, so you actually know I'm really the one who issued it. So at the basic level, a badge is just that one affirmation, you know something, you did something, by a credible source that you can always trace back. So ultimately, a badge is just one little credential, one little assertion about what you know, but when you add them all up, it's a way that I can tell a story about me that's backed by a lot of people that says, this is who I am, this is what I know, this is what I can do. Uh, so do you think badges will disrupt degrees? And um, if employers will start to connect your learning to these badges, why even have a degree anymore? Um, why have a degree anymore is a good question. Um, and it's certainly when I hire people, I'm looking at what they've done and not what they studied. And I think that's gonna become more and more the case. And if I can have a set of badges maybe tied to my portfolio of work, then I can easily see what you've done in the past. I don't just take your word for it. That's going to become much more powerful than a degree. I don't think we're going to see degrees go away. Uh, but I think that we're going to see the idea that a, a degree is the basic level to get any job go away. So the world my kids are living in, in terms of learning, has already changed. Uh, it's changed because they have access not only to kind of infinite amounts of knowledge through the internet, but through, you know, they have access to other people, right? And so much of their learning, which learning being social, happens outside of the classroom, not just online, but because of the empowerment that the internet gives them. I think the biggest difference for my kids already is they're not gonna just think about high school, university, job. That they're already lifelong learners in a way which was rhetoric 
20 years ago. Uh, but now actually we do have to learn how to learn all the time. And that's actually just built into my kids. They do it automatically. And that gives me a lot of hope for humanity.